afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great Class A diesel motorhome value from Parkway RV Center. Today we're going to look at the best selling motorhome of all time, and that is the Fleetwood Bounder. Uh, Fleetwood, of course, the oldest RV manufacturer of motorhomes. In fact, they practically invented the motorhome a long, long time ago. Uh, today we're going to look at a 39Z Fleetwood Bounder. This is a rear engine diesel bounder. Now, folks, I know it says 275 horsepower on the window, but that is actually wrong. It has a 300 horse ISB Cummins, according to the badges on the back. And it's got the very expensive Banks power package option, which is several thousand dollars. It's a bigger intake, more airflow going into the motor, so you get more horsepower than what it's rated for. So you actually are getting, I'm going to estimate 315 horse. I may be wrong, I'm just estimating, but regardless, you've got more than enough to, for this thing to travel down the road. And of course, whether it's 275 or 300 horse is really irrelevant because diesels are judged by the torque rating, not the horsepower, and you've got 660 pound feet of torque with either engine, the 275 or the 300, so you're not gonna tell a nickel's worth of difference between the two. But that Banks, that Banks power package, a nice option because you do get a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque, and it does help you out a mile or two a gallon on your gas mileage. So very, very nice feature. It's got a 7,500 Onan diesel generator uh, running right now, powering everything inside. It does have only 49,000 miles, which anybody that knows anything about diesels will tell you that's not even a concern. For a Cummins diesel. It's on a Freightliner custom chassis, so getting service work will never be a problem. 3000 Allison six speed automatic transmission. You've got a LumaGuard patio awning. You've got full basement storage. Of course, Fleetwood's power platform uh, gives you more outside storage um, without it really increasing the height of the RV in any way. As we walk around, folks, you do have hydraulic leveling jacks. Michelin tires that look almost brand new, still got the little nipples on them or tits, whatever you want to call them. Um, Banks Power Pack. 5,000 pound hitch on the back, which you can tow more than that. Uh, you just have to change your hitch out. They do that for insurance reasons because it, I think these things can tow 7,500, 8,000 pounds, but the next hitch up is a 10,000 pound hitch. They don't want people maxing that hitch out and more than it's rated for. But it does have a 300 horse ISB Cummins diesel, Banks power package, Allison transmission. You can see the intake, some more intake right there so it helps more airflow get to the motor. Got window awnings, got a backup camera that works great. Now folks, this is a 2001 model. It's not gonna be new. I mean, this thing you gotta realize was um, over $135,000 new back in 2001. So this isn't a cheap motorhome. But you can buy it today for $39,900 with 49,000 miles on it. So it's got a ton of life left to it. And you've, let somebody, you've done the smart thing and let somebody else lose that kind of money on a used RV. But keep in mind, folks, that kind of savings comes with a price that everybody has to pay that buys used over new and that price is that this motorhome, even though it's only got 49,000 miles, does have 16 years of use and wear and tear on it. So, you know, if, if you're bothered by a scratch or two, a ding or two, a worn spot, a stain, buying a used RV may not be the right choice for you. Uh, but nothing wrong with that. I've been in RV sales for over 20 years, folks, in all aspects of the industry, not just selling, but delivering them, working on them, uh, buying, selling them, been to the factory tours, and, and I've learned in my 20 plus years of experience that there's two types of buyers for RVs. And a lot of people don't even know which type they are, but you, there's only one, you're one of two types. You're the kind of person that always demands perfection, that always wants everything to be absolutely perfect. That's the kind of person that needs to buy 17 and 18 model motorhomes and buy them brand new and spend 150 grand. Because even though it's a whole lot more money, three or four times the price, that's the only way you're ever going to be happy. And there's a second type of buyer that understands the kind of money that you save buying used over new. 
that you understand there's going to be cosmetic imperfections. There's going to be worn spots, scratch, dings, dents, stains, and stuff like that. And you understand that. And you understand that the money you're saving buying used instead of new is more than enough to justify a few dings or dents or scratches or worn spots or stains. And if that's the kind of buyer you are, folks, then, then we can help, definitely help save you some money. However, if you're going to come in here, and then I had a customer like this the other day that doesn't didn't understand that these were 15, 16-year-old motorhomes. They were expecting them to be new, but they didn't want to pay a new price. Well, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. You can have one or the other. You can save the money, deal with some imperfections, or you can spend 150 grand and get one that's more or less perfect. Well, none of them's perfect, not even new ones, but, you know, at least cosmetically they are. Let's look inside. But however you are, folks, you know, if you're the kind of buyer that knows what used is, knows what used entitles, know that it's not going to be perfect, then we're the place you need to see. And if you're the other type, folks, let me tell you, I'll go ahead and, and save you the time trouble. You might as well just go ahead and buy you a brand new one. And I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to discourage customers from coming here. But, you know, I sell, we sell almost 600 RVs a year with four salespeople. We don't have time to deal with people who aren't ready to buy, who don't understand what used is. We don't have time to deal with trouble, drama, and games and gimmicks, like I say in my other videos. We're very straightforward. We show you what the RV is. We explain to you that's used. We explain to you the kind of money you're saving. I mean, you're looking at 135 grand back in 2001 prices. You couldn't touch one today for that, folks. These things have gone up over $100,000 in new prices since this one was a new RV. So even if you wanted to spend 135 grand on a new bounder, you couldn't because prices have gone up so much. But considering that you're saving almost $100,000 off what it costs new, I'm saving you a lot of money. Considering that it's only got 49,000 miles, I'm saving you a lot of money. Freightliner chassis, 300 horse ISB Cummins, a six speed Allison automatic, uh, got the power gear jack system, air brakes, air suspension, runs and drives great. We just drove it up here 500 miles, no problem, towing a car. Uh, we either towed a Jeep Cherokee or a Honda Element behind it. I didn't I didn't notice which one they were towing behind it. That's, that's the two vehicles that we use for picking up RVs. And uh, did great. One thing I'm going to point out, a couple of things I'm going to point out. You know, this is a 16-year-old motorhome. The previous owners, one of them, have done some modifications to it. The first modification is they've took out all the carpet and put in a perco kind of a vinyl laminate floor but it looks like hardwood and it looks great it's easy to clean you just take a swiffer wet jet and a broom and a dustpan and you can keep this entire floor looking like this for as long as you're using it it does have that and also it's no big deal but they put in a lot of strip lighting in here just to kind of give it an accent look to it. No big deal, but I'm just going to point that out to you. That's not factory. Dash looks good. Backup camera works. Got the dash fans. Generator fires right up. You've got a sleeper sofa that makes a bed. You've got a table and three chairs. You've got another chair here. Uh, a little rocker recliner with a fold-up table. And both these front seats are flex steel leather captain's chairs. They both swivel around so you can actually sit and eat, have eating service for two people at this fold-up table. And then three over there. This unit uh, has the Corian countertop, solid wood cabinetry. Boy, that air feels good. I've got both those air conditioners running full blast because it is hot today. You do have a washer and dryer combination unit. We're going to make sure that works like it's supposed to. Keep in mind, folks, even though this is a 16-year-old motorhome, we're still going to do a major systems check on it for the price that we're charging for it. And that's part of the 399 dollars uh, haggle-free. What you, All you get for that 399 dollars you're going to get a major systems check by our certified RV techs. And they, we don't do the check until we sell the unit because that keeps our overhead down. I don't have to hire as many employees. And the less overhead I have, the less I have to charge for the RVs, and that's why my prices are so much lower. So after you buy this RV, it goes in the line to go into the back. Uh, once it gets it worked its way into the shop, 
it, by text you're going to spend a day and a half or so on this RV, two days depending off they got to order parts. And we're going to go through and check all the outside compartments. We're going to check your awning. We're going to check your jack system, your slide system. We're going to check your refrigerator on gas and electric. We're going to check both your roof airs. We're going to check all your lights, all your plug-ins. We're going to check any inverters or converters this unit may have. We're going to check the washer and dryer. We're going to check plug-in receptacles, drawers, cabinets. We're going to make sure your sofa makes a bed like it's supposed to. In other words, we're going to go through this thing and check all the systems that matter. Um, and uh, if you want a copy of what we check out for the price we pay and what we're, and of course we repair if needed, you know, this thing may go through the inspection, not need to, not need to do a thing to it. But if you want a copy of what we check out and repair if needed for the price you pay, please contact our sales department before bidding on eBay or buying this RV on any of the 20 plus different websites we advertise on. Also, when you're talking to them on the phone, folks, find out what the current lead time is for a Class A diesel checkout. That way there's no surprises. Like I said earlier, we just don't have time for surprises any more than you do. So that's why you always want to find out how long it's going to take us to check it or estimated how long it's going to take us to check it. Maybe sooner, maybe a little later. That's why it's called an estimate. Uh, but they'll tell you and you can make up your decision um, whether you want to pay the 39.9 price and get the inspection. The inspection includes a walkthrough demonstration by the RV tech that checked it out. Or, you know, we will discount the price if you just want to come get it strictly as is, the same exact way that we bought this RV. Take the good with any potential bad it might be. Now, folks, I'm not going to say that we're just going to bring the room in, give you the keys, and tell you to get it, take off with it. If, you want to, if, you, if you're not sure which way you want to go, if you'll call, give us a 24-hour notice, minimum 24-hour notice, tell them, and tell the salesperson you get assigned to you're coming to look at this unit. We'll come out here, we'll crank the generator up, turn the airs on, turn the fridge on. We'll let you spend some time in this motorhome checking it out yourself, so to speak. And you can see for yourself what works, what doesn't, and then you can make your decision, hey, do I want to wait for the inspection or do I want to take the discount? And we'll let you drive it too, of course, or do I want to take the discount? And just take it as is and take it with me today. You know, you can take it with you the day you pay for it. So either way you go, folks, you're going to get a nice motor home. It's clean. It's got low miles. Got the bigger upgrade refrigerator that works great. I mean, folks, and I know 39.9 for a diesel motor home is kind of in the low, low end of the price range for a diesel motor home with a slide, but this is by no means a low end motor home, and that freezer is already getting cold. Um, so you're going to get a nice motor home either way you go. And back to the tour on this 39Z. I like this hallway because it kind of separates the bedroom from the bathroom. Uh, you've got a big sliding door closet right here. And big closet. Looks like you got some all your books and manuals are in there. And I apologize. It's a little dark in here. They, they've the pre, One of the previous owners has replaced... The standard halogen lights with a low light LED light, which looks great, but it does make it a little bit dimmer in here. And you're going to go to the back, and this is an actual air mattress. Uh, there's the motor for it. Uh, your Queen Island bed, you got plenty of reading lamps, nightstands on each side, got your own stereo. It does have an HD TV upgrade in here, it's got the power shed system. And the way this works, folks, and I know most of you probably don't know what this is, and I'll kind of explain it to you. It's a Fleetwood exclusive. Um, especially back in the early 2000s, you know, there wasn't many campgrounds that had a lot of 50 amp sites. So to combat that, Fleetwood developed a power shed system. It's made by Intellitech. It was designed by Fleetwood. What this system does is, see, the plug on this thing is 30 amps. Even though we're on generator power right now, so both air conditioners are running like they're supposed to, but when you're at the campground, what it will do is it allows you to run both airs on 30 amp service, which is normally impossible. Pretty simple how it works. What it does is you'll set the temperature for both zones, front and back, and it will run the compressor on one for about 60 seconds so the air is cold, and run the fan on the other unit and then it'll switch 
fan compressor fan compressor that way the air and it changes every 30 to 60 seconds that way the air coming out of the vents always cold and you're not in it this way you can run you don't it won't run both compressors at the exact same time because that would flip your breaker and damage your air conditioner but it does allow you to operate and keep the entire rv cool just like you were plugged into 50 amp service but you were only hooked into 30 amps so God, that's a pretty nice little thing that Fleetwood did and now it's not so much a problem since more campgrounds have put in 50 amp sites but still when you go to the older campgrounds in the state parks you, you're probably only going to have 30 amp service at the sites uh, or they'll have a very limited number of 50 amp service so still that, that that's still a useful tool today and of course on generator power it's a 50 amp generator so you're fine either way you go here in the side bathroom uh, again, folks, got the, the floor in here as well. Glassed in shower. You can look around the skylight. There's no, turn some lights on in here. There's no stains around the skylight. A little tub. Looks good in the shower. Does have a little bit of, I don't know if somebody just left some water in there. It got a little rust right there in the, around the bottom of the sink. We tried getting that up, it's not going to come up, so, you know, I'm just letting you be aware of that. It's not going to hurt a thing, but I'm just letting you know about it. Uh, porcelain RV toilet, the china one instead of the plastic one. And it's, a, and it's nice that the whole bathroom's enclosed on the side. So this way, when you're in the restroom taking a shower, getting ready for bed or whatever, everybody's still got complete access to the rear bedroom and the entire RV. You've also got sliding pocket doors for maximum privacy. So you can isolate the bedroom and bathroom from the rest of the RV. Or you can use the other side, the other sliding door, which is right here. And it's got a safety catch on it. And I'm going to try to do this with my foot. Anyway, you get the idea. It opens up like the other one. And um, you can completely isolate the bedroom from the rest of the RV, including the bathroom, and completely isolate the bathroom. So folks, you know, you got a lot of stuff going on here for a low price. It's only $39.9. It's got a satellite system. It's got jacks. It's got a slide out. It's got low miles. It's got a very powerful diesel engine, especially if you want to tow something like a car or truck or an SUV. It's going to do it without any problem. It's got a 7,500 diesel generator. Carpet's been removed, so it's going to be easy to keep clean, and most of you would probably want to do this anyway after you use carpet a few times. In fact, I did it to my RV, folks. I took all the carpet out, put all laminate floor down, and I love it. Got a good-looking interior, folks. Like I said, got a nice backsplash behind the stove, good modern look. This unit's $39.9. That's a haggle-free price with the services provided, which is a checkout includes the walkthrough demonstration by the RV techs and it's a 45 day temp tag starter kit instructional DVDs and more or like I said you can come up here we'll have the thing hooked into power have the generator running if you let us know you're coming you can look through it yourself you can make up your decision you may just want to take it as it is it's, it's your it's your decision at least on the as is thing once you pay for it with certified funds like cash cashiers check or wire transfer you can leave with it that day and uh, we just drove it 500 something miles here so I know the running and driving is great you crank the motor up there's no check engine lights the backup camera works good got a TV up here got a DVD player um, ducted airs I mean it's got everything you need folks and it is the best-selling motorhome of all time that's a Fleetwood Bounder and been around for a long time folks fleetwood they've they built so many rvs that if anybody knows how to do it they do give us a call our phone numbers are 706-965-7929 evenings and sundays are 423-605-6747 now you're certainly welcome to email us folks and i'm not and we answer every email we get but keep in mind you know, I don't use commission salespeople because that saves you a ton of money because you're not paying extra for the unit just to cover the salesperson's commission. What's the industry average commission rate is 25% of the gross profit. So uh, if you go to a dealership that uses commission salespeople, they've got a 25% higher markup to cover the salesperson's commission. 
I pay all my guys salary. They get paid the same whether you buy a unit or not. So keep that in mind. I can't afford to keep 25 or 30 salespeople like most lots our size have. I have four salespeople that are non-commissioned. So, you know, they don't have a lot of time selling 600 RVs a year, almost 600. I think we did 590 something last year. After selling almost that many RVs a year, they don't have a lot of time to sit behind a computer. So they will answer emails, but a lot of times it may be 24 hours, it may be 48 hours before you get a response. And during that 24 or 48 hours, somebody else could have picked up a phone, done it the old fashioned way, or came here in person, looked at it, left a deposit on it. You just missed out waiting on an email. And folks, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm old-fashioned. I believe in the tried and true methods. I believe in shaking somebody's hand, looking at something, checking it out before buying it. And I know not everybody can do that anymore, but at least pick up a phone and call us. I know it's old-fashioned. Heck, a lot of people don't even know how to make a phone call with their smartphones these days. But if you pick up a phone and call us, you're going to learn more in a five-minute phone conversation than you will in an hour or two hours of writing emails and text back and forth. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm saying my guys, uh, time is very precious to my salespeople and like I said, they can tell you more in five minutes than, than spending an hour behind a computer emailing back and forth. So that's what I'm saying. Emails are not the best way to get in touch with us even though we will answer all emails. So uh, just keep that in mind. Um, you know, and keep in mind too, this unit's for sale on eBay, on 20 of the most popular for sale websites for RVs in, in, on the web right now. Uh, thousands of people in the next 24 hours are going to see this ad. Hundreds of people are going to actually go through the trouble and click on the link and, and look at this video. Uh, somebody's going to buy it. There's such a huge shortage of low mileage road ready RV, used RVs on the road right now in the industry. Worst I've seen in 20 years. I was talking to some people and they said used inventory right now is about half what it should be. And um, that creates a huge demand for these RVs because who wants to go spend a couple hundred grand on a new one when this one will do everything that, that a $200,000 one will do and save you 160 grand? Doesn't make sense, does it? So don't let this one get away. They're getting harder and harder to find. Uh, everybody wants motorhomes right now because fuel is down. That doesn't help the market either because everybody's trading. Now, if you want to buy a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, there's great buys out there because everybody and their brothers trading in fifth wheels and travel trailers to buy motorhomes. And in fact, I we quit buying motor we quit buying travel trailers and fifth wheels because we have so many people wanting to trade them in to buy motorhomes. There's no need for us to go out and physically buy towable inventory because we can keep ourselves replenished just with trade-ins. So keep that in mind, folks, if you're in the market for an RV, so you'd be surprised how many other people are, too. Give us a call. Email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. You can like us on Facebook, of course, YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the little bell notification. Um, you know, we're on Twitter, Instagram. I've got a big bow Facebook page. You're welcome to send me a friend request. I post stuff on there. Um, you know, we've been doing this a long time, folks. We're 49 years, family owned and operated since 1968. We've been in business selling RVs longer than most of the RV manufacturers have been building them. Uh, we've been doing this a long time. Not much we haven't seen. We trade for just about anything. I traded for a tractor earlier today. We trade for classic cars, trucks, regular cars, SUVs, motorcycles, four wheelers, side by sides, lawn equipment, gold, silver, guns, local property. Folks, we trade for anything that we can legally resell. And uh, if other dealers told you no, they don't even know where to go with your trade-in, we say yes, folks. I've traded for cop cars, SWAT vans, news vans. I've traded for concession trailers, um, <laughs> roach coaches. I've traded for just about everything, folks. So if you've got it, if I can find a, a way to put a value on it, I'll promise you we'll do our best to trade for it. Uh, Give us a call, 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Even though most dealers can't get financing on an 01 model, I still have lenders that will do a 2001 model as long as you have approved credit and down payment. So financing is available. 
I don't have as much options for you because of the year model, but if you've got good credit, qualifying credit, chances are I can probably get you approved as long as you have enough money down. Keep in mind on these older units like this, the banks will want more money down than 10%. 10% is average on newer ones, but on these older ones, you may have to pay 20%. It just depends on your credit or more. Give us a call, drop us an email. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia, and, let, and also, folks, we can help you arrange nationwide delivery. Uh, we have customers that fly into the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport every week to pick up RVs here that they purchased on the Internet. We'll pick you up for free during business hours at the Chattanooga, Tennessee airport. And uh, if you want to rent a car to get to us, we'll help you drop that car off at the local rental car terminal. We'll do everything we can to try to help you out, folks. Um, give us a call. Email us. I look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.